Today we're going to be using GeoGebra for our project 4.03 to talk about dilations. A dilation transforms an object by making it larger or smaller. When it's made larger, it's called an enlargement. When it's made smaller, it's called a reduction. We are going to do this transformation today in GeoGebra. When it's larger or smaller, it's being increased. The sides are being increased or decreased by a scale factor. It's not a rigid motion because the pre-image and the image are not congruent. However, one of the characteristics that are, are here for the pre-image the image is the angles for the pre-image are always the same and the interior angles of the polygon are the same as the image. Also the scale factor if you start with a pre-image the scale factors it's incre the image is increasing by a scale factor all of the sides are increasing by being multiplied by the same number. So I'm going to demonstrate that today and we're going to be doing this for your 4.03 project. We're going to start with our move graphics view then you're going to write initials for your name. Now where my name is Penny Templeton, I'm going to put a P up. And then I'm going to put a T. I'm going to change the color to something bright. And here I've got my first beginning here, and I, I it just I feel kind of funny where my P is is I can move these around a little bit. It's, it's so much smaller than my T, so we'll just make that we can make some adjustments here. It's really kind of fun to do, and these also are polygons. You can move them all together. So here we go. So now I'm going to pop out. Actually, before I pop out my algebra vi um, view to my geometry, I'm going to put down a point, and it's going to be called my center for my center of dilation. I'm going to rename that as center. So when you start with your pre-image, you and your and you dilate, you have to dilate it with a center of dilation, and we're going to show you what that means in the next few steps here. So wait, I'm going to pop out my geometry view and I'm going to take my, take my line tool and I already have it set the way I want it, but I'll just change it to one of these dashed lines and bring it right close to, to, to the beginning, but not exactly at the beginning. And so we're going to be drawing a point from the center to our um, pre-image in just a couple few lines because what's going to happen is when you dilate their image that the dilation or the image is going to be collinear with their pre-image and the vertices and I'm going to show you that so let's go back to our geometry algebra view now in order to dilate this using the dilation I'm going to actually put up a slider and I'm going to write down factor because I'm going to be going from like negative 2 to say 4 times bigger and we can check our slider using our move key, negative 2 to 4 times bigger. So let's put this together, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go to the bottom one, dilate from a point. It says select object to dilate, then center point, and enter factor. So I'm going to select my object, which is my letters, click on my center, and I'm going to write the word factor. And now, look what happened. We dilated it. We created it 2.1 times bigger. So let's just go here. I just want to show you that if you were to draw, a, connect the vertices from your pre-image to your image, h to h prime or g to g prime, these intersect at your center of dilation. And this is dynamic, so you can move this anyway. But I'm actually going to go back a few steps and I'm going to go over my point and I'm going to show my label and I'm actually show object. I'm just going to remove that because I just want that for this because it's kind of fun. Then I'm going to go to segment and I'm going to go show label. Now I'm going to dilate it again. Oh dear, do you see I lost my center point so I have to bring it back. So let me do that again. Here's my center of dilation. Write down my factor so it's going to be one times bigger. It's going to be at the same location it is right now. And now I'm going to actually right click on this and turn my animation on and bring this to my geometry view. And I just also want to show you one other thing here. And I'm going to, this is, this is what you're going to be turning in, but I do want to show you one other thing. And I'm going to turn my animation off and move this out. And I want to show you something about this dilation. This is 0.4, factor is 0.4. That means all the sides of the pre-image were multiplied by 0.4, or all of these vertices, 0.4. That's how much smaller they are to get to here. Also, um, the other thing is the angles 
this was created in the counterclockwise direction. So if this angle is 92 degrees, then the corresponding angle in the in here is 92. They all are the same. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get back to putting this back to where it was. And we're going to turn our animation on, and this is what you're going to be turning in for your project. Thank you so much.